I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax, Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. <sighs> I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. And it was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight in your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing me slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well, being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. The shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the ring. I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? 
Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. Want to see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I going to do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How would your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. You want to fight? Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. Uh. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Hola, senores y caballeros. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much-anticipated main event. Six rounds among heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Teddy, I find it unrealistic that this guy's got much of a chance against this power puncher. Hey, that doesn't make you Notre Dame is there, Joe. And just looking to chop down his opponent. A forceful hook to the head by Antonio Chavez. 
the other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Chavez is, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. See, he's got his guard up really well that time. Solid. Andre Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is down. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. Like a sledgehammer that uppercut by Andre Bishop. <laughs> Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre jump. Look at that. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Chavez is rising back up. That takes some guts. Teddy, this is like a horror film in this ring right now. There's blood everywhere coming from that cut of his. Yeah, well, the only thing that matters right now is that. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Chavez's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. And this round comes to an end. I need another round. All right, how are you doing? Nice and calm. Nice and calm. How are you feeling? He's counter punching, and you need to be aware of that. Okay? Watch for the counter. You don't need that. Go right away. Chavez has recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. Zones in, right? Big shot there. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. The Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City is home to our boxing car tonight. And it's headlined by a heavyweight flag. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. This is just the second fight at heavyweight. You win over a middleweight prospect, the American Andre Bishop. Tonight, Bishop will face Raul Castillo. Round one underway between Bishop and Castillo. You know, the word on Castillo is that he loves to get to the inside and go to the body. 
So we will watch for the naturally smaller man, Bishop, to utilize some movement and try to keep a distance. Castillo's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he's... Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down and not the way he wanted it to go. This guy's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old-timers would say, take a walk around the block. Castillo's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. He's trying to get some energy back, and now he's tying up his opponent, just wasting some minutes. Yeah, it takes two to tangle, though. He's wasting minutes. And yet another big shot comes in. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? What a soap opera it's been for Andre Bishop, and now you can write a new chapter. His second win as a heavyweight. He knocks out Raul Castillo here in Mexico City.